We've already looked at how to do crude birth rates, but now we're going to look at age-specific birth rates. I have a table here that's age, sex-specific population, and births in Italy in 2010. The actual calculation of age-specific fertility rates is exactly the same as for a crude rate, births divided by population times 1,000. It's just that you're looking at a more specific population and a more specific set of births. So I'll do the same thing here in Excel that I did before. First I'll enter an equal sign, then I'll have an open parentheses, births divided by population, close parentheses, times 1000. Hit enter and there's my age specific fertility rate. I'm now going to copy, paste into all the remaining cells, that way it fills in, and in this case I'm probably just, I think I will just leave it with one decimal level. If you'll recall, I can highlight the area I want to change and come up here and reduce the decimal level or increase the decimal level. It's not really going to make a lot of difference. One thing to pay attention to though is that sometimes when it calculates a whole number, 7.0, it won't put in a decimal level to start and then that throws you off visually. At first glance that feels like the same as that, even though really that's 7 and that's 0.7. So I like to get the whole thing lined up evenly. So now if you wanted to make some comparisons over time or between two different places, I'd compare birth rates at one or more of these specific age categories to get a better picture. And just for fun, I've done that here in Table 3. This is the age specific birth rates in Italy in 1995 and in 2010 we can see that even though the crude birth rate didn't change much in Italy between 1995 and 2010, women are waiting longer to have children. The age-specific fertility rate in what used to be the prime childbearing years, ages 20 to 29, has now shifted to later ages. It's risen for all categories, ages 30 and over. So this is a really nice way to make some um, more detailed uh, investigations into what's happening with fertility in a given population. Now finally we're going to look at something called the general fertility rate. It sort of falls in between the crude birth rates and the age specific fertility rates. It's a summary measure of the entire childbearing population of a country. Essentially what you need is the total number of women of childbearing ages, and that's usually specified to be ages 15 to 45 or 49. Um, I'm going to use the data we already have here to calculate this. I pulled this from the um, age specific fertility rate table. Now what I need is the sum of that or the total of that, and I can create that in Excel. I could just go along and click and say that plus that plus that plus that, but here's where I'm going to use one of those built-in functions in Excel and it's called sum. When you start to type in a function, Excel tries to help you out there a little bit. I want sum, lets me know what that's actually going to do for me, which is exactly what I want. I then need to do an open parentheses, highlight all the numbers that I want added together, and do a close parentheses. And there we go. I can do the same thing here or I can just copy that and paste there and it'll move the formula calculations over. Copy, paste. So now I have my total births, my total population. Now you might be saying, well surely there's a few births that take place prior to age 15 or after age 49, so how precise is this? You're right, if I come back over here to crude birth rates and I'm looking for 2010, I have my total number of births. So I'm just going to copy it come back over here and paste it right there so we can make comparisons. And you'll note um, 564,358 <laughs> and up here we have 564,361 basically. So it's a seven count difference, really not that big of a deal, but what the heck, I'll paste in that more accurate number there. And then now I simply need to calculate a rate like I would with age specific rates or with crude birth rates. I'm going to go ahead and put that up here in my table so that you can see how that's going to work. I'm going to start by copying my population total, and when I do that, I get an error, a pound ref error, and what that simply means is that I tried to copy a formula, and now it doesn't know what to do. It doesn't know what to sum up anymore as part of that formula. So what I really need to do is copy and do what's called a paste special, and just paste the number, not the formula. In my version of Excel, my paste menu is up here, and I come down and do paste 
values or I could click on paste special and then choose paste values. I'm just going to do that. Yours might be a little bit different than that but the general idea is you're looking for paste special or paste values. And then because this is just a number, I took it over from the other table, I don't need to do that here. I can just do control V or command V and get it. Okay, and then I calculate that rate of our total number of births, I'll open parentheses, total number of births, divided by females of childbearing age, close parentheses, times 1,000, and I get a general fertility rate of 39.4 births per 1,000 women of childbearing age. This, these, we've gone over your first three fertility measures now, crude birth rate in the other video, and then here we've done age-specific birth rates and general fertility rates. Um, in your next class session, we will talk about some even more specific, uh, or at least different, measures of fertility, including the total fertility rate, which is kind of our gold standard, and a few other rates that we sometimes use when we don't have access to all the data that we need.